What is going on guys and welcome back to another transfer update, another deal that looks like it's edging ever closer. But before we do get into this video, I will be making a playlist for all Chelsea transfer rumours and news, bringing you confirmation of transfers that have been completed, rumoured ones that may happen, departures, incomings, etc. There'll be a full playlist, I'll put the link in the description below if you did miss my video on Alexandra and the fact that that deal is moving ever closer, bringing you some updates on that deal. Check it out. I uploaded that video earlier today. But today we're going to be talking about Bako Yoko, who I keep calling Bako Yogurt, and I don't know why, it's just I can't seem to say his name properly. But I, I seem to have managed it by now, which is always a good thing. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Atmosphere for Cam. I retweet Twitter. Retweet Twitter? That's not what I do. I retweet sort of Chelsea transfers on there. I also give you my thoughts, different polls. Uh, and stuff like that. But it looks like the deal for Bakayoko is almost done. Um, in fact, many outlets, including some very, very reliable ones, saying this deal is uh, confirmed, it is done, and basically we're waiting an announcement, possibly a medical, um, for this deal. If you don't know who Bakayoko is, he is, uh, or was last season, AS Monaco's, uh, one of their midfielders. Obviously, Monaco won the French League, uh, the Ligue 1, and they also did very, very well in the Champions League. I think they got the semi-finals of the Champions League. It looks like the deal looks to be around £35 million, which is not a bad deal at all, if you ask me. A 22-year-old French, um, he's not a regular in the French team, but he has played in the French team before. He, best way I could describe him is he, you know, he's a tall guy, he's a strong guy. Um, and him and him and Kante will be a brick wall to get through. He did have a not a great end to the season for Monaco, or certainly dipped off in form, but a lot of that was due to injury. But I think he's a fantastic signing. 22 year old, 35 million in this market is an absolute steal, and is without shadow of a doubt an upgrade on Nemanja Matic, who we expect to move to Manchester United probably for 40, 45 million pounds to actually make a profit. Fantastic move, if you ask me. Uh, you know, getting Matic out, bringing back a Yoko in. Lots of potential for back a Yoko. Actually reminds me in many respects of Yaya Torre. The only thing he hasn't really got for me is uh, kind of a, a long shot, you know, that kind of shooting ability that I'd love for somebody to have. I feel like we're lacking that in the team. Somebody that can just from anywhere on the pitch pick the ball up and smash it. But who knows? Maybe he had scored some goals from uh, a long way out, but they've kind of not been the greatest goals. You see what I'm saying? So that's the only thing uh, that I really can criticise. But he's without shadow of a doubt an upgrade on Nemanja Matic, who I would expect to leave. And as I say, Kante, Bakayoko, Fabregas. It seems like a fantastic three. Add Chalaber into the mix as well there. It's a very, very solid uh, sort of midfield. There have been a link with the move for Bakayoko for a few months now. It looks like he has uh, snubbed a move to uh, to Manchester United in favour of Chelsea. Um, so yeah, very, very good news for us. Um, and a day ago, Fabrizio Romanco, I don't know who that, well, I do know who he is. I can't say his name properly. But he's a journalist for Sky Sports and The Guardian um, and also for DeMarcos, who's very, very reliable sources. Chelsea are in advanced talks for Bakayoko. Agreement is really close with the Monica player having accepted already. And then there was reports yesterday that the deal is confirmed. Telefoot said the deal is confirmed for 40 million euros, which works out about 35 million pounds um and before you go well where are chelsea getting all this money we sold oscar for 60 million matic for 40 millions you know most probably going to go um let's just get this up i made a little list of of uh transfers where we're getting the money from yeah let's just talk matic say 40 million costa 50 million traore that looks like it's about 20 million solanke once it goes through tribunal will be 5 million begovic we got 10 million quadrado 17 Remy, maybe five million we'll get for him. Van Hinkle, ten million perhaps. Baba Rahman, another ten. Atsu, six. Oscar, sixty million. Mikel, eight million. Banford, six million. There's been others there as well, like sell on fees for the Salah deal, as well as some other sort of youth players and people with big wafty wages off the wage bill, like Ivanovic, etc. Uh, as well as. AK looks like he's moving to Bournemouth for 20 million. Essentially, we've we've sold in excess since the last time we bought uh, any uh, player about 300 million pounds worth of talent. Once sort of Matic, Costa, AK, and Traore go through, which no doubt will. Which means we've got loads of money to spend. It wouldn't surprise me if you work it out at the end of this transfer window. The last time, from the last time we bought a player. Um, 
you know, the last time we signed a player, which I think was David Luiz, we would have actually broken friggin' even. It's that crazy. We have signed a couple of young talents this summer already, uh, one from Rangers and one from Ajax. Um, when do I expect this Bakayoko deal to uh, be done? I expect it to be done and announced, sorry, because uh, I think it's done now. I think it would be announced on July the 1st, along with Alexandro and Willy Cablero, which is another one that is done. And why on the July the 1st, if you don't know, our Adidas deal that we've had, the kit deal, ends on July... Well, I mean, our, our Nike deal starts on July the 1st. And, of course, we don't want to announce signings in an old kit. So I think we're waiting for that as well. Expect on July the 1st, Conte probably to uh, renew his contact. Courtois, an announcement on him renewing his contract. And I wouldn't even be surprised if Eden Hazard renews his contract on July the 1st. It is going to be a fantastic day for Chelsea fans. Uh, and who knows, maybe Lukaku, Van Dijk, Bonucci, they could all be done very, very soon as well. But Bakayoka is a done deal. He'll be a Chelsea player next season. Him and him and uh, Kante will be a fucking pair to get by. It'll be fantastic to watch those two play. It will be unbelievable. A massive upgrade on Matic. And I think this move does confirm what we expected, the exit of Nemanja Matic, most probably to Manchester United for probably a fee, thought to be in the region of about £40 million. Pounds. Only sort of rumours of that at the moment, but I do expect when Bakayoko is confirmed, it won't be long before we see Matic go. And how exciting that we're going to be going into a pre-season, being able to see some of the youngsters, um, you know, some of the youngsters being able to play um, like we have in previous seasons. We love seeing them come through and getting their sort of sort of game time, so it'll be interesting to see some of them. Hopefully, the people like Dujon Silva, said his first name wrong there, Oliana, uh, Chalaba, Loftus-Cheek. I hope that we keep them, if we are sending them out on loan, we keep them at least for uh, pre-season. And also, we're going to be able to see people like Bakayoko. We're going to be able to see Willy Cablero in a Chelsea shirt, which I know a lot of people aren't that pumped over that, but he's a fantastic backup keeper. Um, and, uh, of course, Alexandro is wearing a Chelsea shirt. And as there's, other than the Confed... Confed's Cup, um, which France, Brazil, they're not in it. It's Portugal, Germany, really, are the big two in that. And Mexico, uh, Germany, we don't have any German players. And who else do I say? Portugal, we don't have any Portuguese players off the top of my head. Um, so, yeah, the, the Confed's Cup's not really going to cause a problem. So everybody should be there for pre-season, uh, which starts in the middle of July. And, of course, I'll bring out videos for that. Uh, I'll bring bringing out videos, of course, and updates on Lukaku, um, Van Dijk, Bonucci, if they come, as well as AK's uh, apparent departure, Costa's departure as well. Lots of Chelsea transfer news and rumours to be coming on this channel. I'll bring you the news as soon as it breaks. We've been linked with the move for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain as well. Leave your thoughts on who you think do you want Chelsea to sign, who you think would be a good signing. Um, maybe James Rodriguez. Can you see that happen? Do you think we should go for him? Maybe even Alexis Sanchez. Leave it down in the comments below. And what do you think of the Bako, Bakayoko deal? Uh, go check him out on his YouTube video, you know, Scout Nation. That's what people always wait. But don't don't draw, draw too much into that. Wait and see how he plays. It's like Fabinho might be going. Fabinho. Fa how do you say his name? Might be going to Man United anyway. Um, some saying he's better than Bakayoko. No, he's not. He's a poor man's Bakayoko. But it looks like Bako Yogurt, as I like to call him, is moving closer to a move to Chelsea Football Club. And in FIFA terms, career mode terms, it's another fantastic signing. It's getting to the point where I'm not going to lie to you. In my Chelsea career mode next year, I'm not going to sign anybody. I mean, the only place that I'm thinking about possibly strengthening that I don't think Chelsea will is possibly the right wing back position. Although I'm pretty, pretty content with playing Aspen at right wing back. And right wing, just another sort of winger that can play. Uh, I like Hazard, I like Pedro, William I don't really think is that good. But I really think we need another player in there. Maybe an Alexis, excuse me, maybe a James Rodriguez. We'll have to wait and see. But it's an exciting time to be a Chelsea fan. I mean, after last week's Conte's leaving, blah, 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 meltdown. It looks like he's staying. It looks like loads of deals are slowly being competed. We look very active in the market. Um, and there's really not much bad news, really, as a Chelsea fan, apart from the fact that Eden Hazard will miss pre-season, most likely the first few games of the season. But the only disappointing thing. But that is it for this video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to drop a like, as I say. Make sure you check out down in the comment section below the series playlist with all these Chelsea news and rumours. As I said, if you did miss my Alexandra video, make sure you go check that out. Follow me on Twitter, if you can. And until next time, 
Thank you so much for watching. Chelsea are the champions and we're making moves in the transfer market. Isn't it fantastic? Back a Yoka for £40 million is almost done. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.